Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Have you ever been working on a project with a microcontroller or single board computer and found that the more you work on it, the more it wants to expand? Say you're working with a SparkFun breadboard or an Arduino Uno, and you're running a dual motor driver along with a basic 16x2 character LCD. Well, those two components alone are going to take up pretty much all of your pins. Or maybe you've got a Raspberry Pi and the hat you're using doesn't have pass-through headers. These situations have cost me more than my fair share of headaches and redesigns. But now, there's a simple solution with the new SparkFun Quick GPIO. And while the solution is simple, we've taken the time and effort with this board to make it a little more complex. Here, look. The Quick GPIO is an I2C device based around the TCA9534 IO Expander IC from Texas Instruments, which supports both standard mode and fast mode I2C frequencies. And that's 100 and 400 kilohertz for those of you keeping score at home. It also features an active low interrupt pin that's activated when any pins configured as an input have a different state from the input port register state. The board breaks out all eight of the I.O. pins, the interrupt pin, and multiple power rail pins, all to easy to use latch pins, and that means no soldering. Just put the strip wire or the end of a jumper wire into the latch pin, push down firmly, and you're ready to go. There are a pair of quick I2C connectors, as well as the standard 0.1 inch spaced PTH I2C pins for those of you who prefer to solder in pins and work on a breadboard. The back of the board has six sets of jumpers. There's an I2C jumper in case you're using multiple I2C devices on the same bus and need to limit the resistance. Similarly, the interrupt jumper can be opened if you have another pull up on the interrupt pin. The power jumper disables the onboard power LED. Finally, there are three address jumpers and if you can think in binary, then you know that that gives you the option of up to eight different I2C addresses for up to 64 additional GPIO pins. This expander IC is really simple and straightforward, but to make life even easier, we put together an Arduino library as well as a Python package with examples for both. Now, I wanted to throw together a quick example, so I just went with a Larson scanner. Seriously, if this thing took me five minutes total to put together, I'd be surprised. For the hardware, the latch pins and the quick connector made that a breeze. And for the code, I just took example 1A from our hookup guide and the Knight Rider sketch from Arduino's website and kind of smashed them together, and that was it. I'm using a quick micro with the SAMD21 just to show you that even with an eight LED array, you've still got all your pins available on your quick micro. And with eight possible I2C addresses on the quick GPIO, you could be running an array of 64 LEDs on your Larson scanner and still have all the pins available on your quick micro. Now, I know some of you might be looking at this and thinking, Rob, what are you doing? You've got no resistors for your LEDs. What kind of message does that send the children? Oh, fear not, because we carry LEDs with built-in resistors. I love these things for quick prototyping or breadboarding. Oh, we've got them in red, green, yellow, and blue, I think and they're a breeze. Just plug it in and you're ready to go. But I digress. So if you're using something small like the Quick Micro, or if you're using something large like the SparkFun Artemis ATP, your thirst for more digital GPIO pins can now be quenched with the new SparkFun Quick GPIO. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com today. Or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow is good. And hey, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. controller or single board computer computer I surprised myself now we'll go through about 30 takes before I get back to similarly the interrupt jumper similarly the interrupt jumped with the new spark fun GPIO shoot quick spark fun quick GPIO similarly the interrupt jump where am I there it is <laughs> with the new spark fun quick GPIO there it is what am I supposed to say after that <laughs> similarly the interrupt jumper can Similarly, the interrupt jumper can be opened if you have another pull up on the interrupt pin. Still didn't like it. With the new SparkFun Quick GPIO. Pick yours. I did. I was so happy about that, I thought I was done.